I wasn't sure if I was gonna do this today, but we're gonna do it. So today we're gonna do a full day of eating while I'm sick. So I have eaten nothing but toast, specifically one peanut butter slice of toast and one cinnamon sugar slice of toast for the past three days. I have not been feeling good. I have not worked out. I've been, I've, I've done nothing but eat toast for the past three days. So well, I just really in this video wanna show you how I navigate being sick as an intuitive eater, what I eat, and give you some tips along the way. So I have no idea what today is gonna look like, but I think hopefully it'll be valuable to you guys to show you how I navigate this. So this morning, I do feel like I'm getting better, so that's a plus, but I'm still like not great. So this morning I got up and I did have a muffin. I did switch it up. I had a muffin this morning. Carbs, guys, it's the only thing I want. That's so why I'm allowing myself to eat that. And I'll talk about that more throughout the day. But I had a muffin this morning when I got up. I wasn't feeling hunger cues. My hunger cues have also been very wonky so far. It was more of I was thinking about food a little bit. So that was a cue, but it was also a lot of practical hunger, just knowing my body could use food, right? It's in the morning, I could use food. So it's now it's like mid morning right now. And I'm starting to feel a little bit of hunger cues, like grumbling in my stomach, but they're not strong. And I'm gonna make toast again. So this might be a boring full day of eating. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe I'll miraculously feel better later in the afternoon and we'll have something else. But I'm making my toast right now. That's what we're gonna have for breakfast. And you know what? It's fine just to eat carbs. I'm not gonna use much junk nutrition here. I'm not gonna try to amp up the protein or anything else in it. I'm just having toast, you guys, because honestly, the most important thing for me is to get my body calories because calories are needed to live. Calories are needed to fight our illness off. So that's what I'm doing right now. To me, that comes before implementing like other gen nutrition areas, like, um, you know, giving your body vitamin C or zinc or any of the other things, like we need calories. Okay, so I'm gonna go make my toast right now. And as always, guys, I haven't mentioned it this yet in this video, these full days of eatings, they are just to show you what I'm having today, my thought process behind intuitive eating, and just to show you the why behind my food choices. It's not necessarily about what I eat, or like I said, this isn't how I eat every single day, and some things are gonna be kept a little ambiguous so there's not any of that comparisonitis uh, going on there. So that's enough of me talking. I'm gonna go make my toast. to have something else to eat for lunch. So I'm gonna put together a smoothie. A, having a smoothie when you're sick is also one of my tips for how to get kind of more nutrients in there, especially when I don't have the strongest appetite. So I'm just gonna try to put a smoothie together because sometimes drinking something can be easier than eating and you can pack a lot more nutrients in there. So I just have some random stuff that I'm gonna throw together um, just cause I do feel like I do want to give my body more nutrients than just eating bread. But with that being said, go to this step, like adding more nutrients in when you actually feel ready for it. Because like I said, I've eaten nothing but bread for the past few days. So this is, I'm not forcing myself to do this. It's coming when I'm ready. So I have some banana slices that I'm gonna throw in here. Have some more. I have some frozen blueberries. Something that I'm thinking about is how can I get a variety of colors in here? 
that's going to give my body a variety of nutrients. So I'm just going to put a couple handfuls of blueberries in there. I'm not thinking too much about this, just like what can I give my body? I'm not thinking too much of, yes, and we could do a whole other video on like what nutrients to give yourself, but I'm still kind of at the place right now where I'm like, I just need nutrients of some sort, right? So I'm not going to get too in the weeds about that. I have some spinach I'm going to throw in there. I'm going to throw a scoop of protein powder in here because again, it's feels fine. I know my body could use some. I haven't had much, so we're going to throw some of that in there. I'm going to get some almond butter in here. I need to get a spoon. And then I'm just going to throw some ice, put a little milk in there. And then it's really what we've got going. Um, and I'm probably going to add some cereal. So I'm going to finish putting this together and I'll show you the final product. All right. So we have my smoothie right here and I actually have some cinnamon light this flavor a little bit more carb I like to have something to chew so I'm literally this is a giant smoothie I'm probably gonna actually add this as I eat it rather than try to add it all at once I'll mix some in but then I don't know we'll see if I get through this whole thing this is much bigger than anticipated I'll probably just put it in the freezer if I don't finish it all and just allow myself to eat it as I want but um, this is really how I'm gonna eat it as I go just kind of keep I'm spilling this everywhere. Continuing to put more Cinnamon Life on top. Or Aldi brand Cinnamon Life, but whatever. Let's taste it. I already tasted some of it when I put it in the bowl. Mm, so refreshing. I feel like this is exactly what I need. Changing up just the pace of things where it's still like something I can stomach. Getting a little bit more nutrients in there. Hydration in there. This is gonna hit the spot. I'm feeling like I'm on the up and up, you guys. This is honestly like ice cream consistency. Mm. So good. Okay, so two things I want to mention real fast is that that would have been a good example of a place where maybe a greens powder could have been helpful. I get asked about those a lot, and typically on a day-to-day -day basis, like you, I don't recommend them unless for some reason we can't like use food to get the nutrients that we need or we just need a boost. It's not that they're typically bad, but that was an instance where I was like, okay, I could easily just kind of add it a scoop of greens powder that could have kind of hit a lot of marks there. Um, I didn't have any and I had some spinach on hand and whatnot, so that worked out just fine. I did, as I was eating that, got sick of it very quick. And this has happened a couple times before since I've been sick this week where I'm like, yeah, I can do this. And then I eat it and I'm like, I actually really don't want this. So it kind of ended up, I was like halfway through it. I did get a decent way through it. Um, and then it just kind of ended up being me adding more and more cereal, and like scraping the cereal off the top of it, <laughs> but it's fine. So I just threw it into the freezer. I'll probably do the same thing later this afternoon, add more cereal to it, let it thaw a little bit and finish it off kind of turned into more of a half the smoothie, a lot of cereal kind of thing. But hey, you know, trying things, now I know, didn't totally sit with me. You just do what you can, right? But, oh, the mail's here. That's my cue. I told you what I needed to tell you. All right, I am obviously in my pajamas right now. This afternoon, I went back multiple times and I had the rest of my smoothie and I had cereal multiple times. That is one thing that has really helped me and is a good tip for when you're feeling sick is to rather than feel like you have to eat these large meals, eating smaller kind of like grazing throughout the day can help you get the overall amount of energy that you need. So I right now am going to, <laughs> the smoothie i'm back to my bread like that's all that sounds good that was like the most out of my comfort zone that i could get today um and that's fine so i'm gonna actually make french toast right now because i do feel like i don't want toast i've literally eaten it for so so long and i can add some eggs in there to get a little bit of protein so that's what i'm going to do right now i'm gonna make some french toast yeah that's what we're gonna have for dinner so i think the biggest thing with me being sick today first of all I feel like <laughs> you can probably go back and look at like lunchtime when I was like feeling good about stuff and then now I just feel like all of my energy drained and that's why I'm in my pajamas and making dinner I also didn't tell you guys that my husband is traveling this week so it's just me at home which has I think kind of been a little that's nice honey 
But it's been, I guess, a little nice because I've just been able to only think about what sounds good to me. Um, so that's been, like I said, kind of a nice thing. But I think the biggest thing to take away from this is that, yes, I know a lot of times we hear about like, what should I eat when I'm sick. A lot of times you are probably gonna hear, oh, like the zinc or the vitamin C, all of those things. And yes, those things are important, but I think the biggest thing to look at is are you giving your body enough overall energy? And honestly, that's really been my focus today. Yes, there's been times when I felt, okay, I feel like I can add some more nutrients. Like at lunch, I added some you know, nutrients to my smoothie. Right now I'm adding some eggs to get some protein in there. I'll add some berries on top. I'm actually gonna do some frozen berries and mix it with maple syrup. I love doing that. And I'm gonna add some Jug's Nutrition in for that sense, but I think that that's the first thing and then you build on that, right? Don't get so caught up in like vitamin C and zinc and all these things if you're not giving your body enough overall energy in the first place. So I'm gonna go finish putting my French toast together and we'll chat after that. syrup mixed together. I love this. I think it is so tasty. So I'm just, I'm just gonna pour it all on there. Whatever. Whatever I don't have, I don't eat. You know what? We have some whipped cream. Hang on. Why not? We got some. So that is dinner. Okay, so I'm actually gonna add some, there was some almond butter out, so I probably see I was begging. So I'm gonna just put some on there. I'll not really that drizzly, but we'll just smush it over on top of it. That's what we're having for dinner, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this, and I'm gonna think if there's anything else that I wanted to tell you guys about today when we're being sick, so we'll do a little recap after. I finished eating this. Oh, I'm gonna stain my pajamas so bad. <laughs> I already spilled. Simple and it hits the spot. Let me tell you what. All right guys, so I finished it all. I literally licked my plate clean. Felt good, going back to the, the carbohydrate base was key. So all transparency, my camera's gonna die soon. So I wanted to make sure we got right to the point to finish off this video. I wrote down eight points that I want to touch on before we wrap this up. <clears throat> Excuse me. So tip number one is try to eat enough calories and stay hydrated first versus trying to cherry picking nutrients. Like I said, you're gonna hear a lot about eat these specific foods, but bottom line, we have to have enough energy to actually overcome the illness. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is to give your body rest. Give your body rest in the mental sense, the physical sense, your body needs rest. Smaller, more frequent meals can be helpful to increase your intake if your appetite is low. That's what I did a lot today. Sometimes drinking is easier than eating, so try a smoothie or a soup. You can pack a lot of nutrients in there. It's okay to just want to eat carbs. Your body needs them, yes, even if you just lay in bed all day. Six is you won't automatically get a nutrient deficiency from a period of more quote unquote unbalanced eating. Seven, stressing over eating will likely be worse by prolonging your illness. Our bodies don't wanna be in a state of stress and that's not going to contribute to you feeling better. And eight is if you worry about being sick or disrupting your eating or workout routine, then maybe your workout routine isn't sustainable or what your body wants. Again, guys, this video is not meant to tell you what to eat when you're sick. It's not meant to be medical advice. It's just meant to show you how Intuitive eating isn't all perfect and how I navigated today. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, share it, all of the things. Thank you for being here and I will see you back next week with another video. See you later.